Hello everyone and welcome back to Geordie Journals. I say Geordie Journals, there's only one Geordie Journal today, of course that's me. Uh, Liam Kennedy and Dominic Skur have uh, taken some time off this week. Uh, Liam is at Manchester United tomorrow, however Dom isn't. So um, yeah, press conference duties were left to myself this morning. Um, just spoken to Eddie Howe, the head of that Manchester United Cup game tomorrow. Obviously uh, the main thing on the agenda Injuries seems to be dictating Newcastle's season currently, especially since coming back uh, from the international break. Uh, they've been really, really unlucky with injuries. So we'll go through some of the injuries to get started. We'll start with uh, Sven Botman. It was hoped that he would be back before uh, the November international break and just uh, over or just under two weeks' time. Eddie Howe says that uh, they're waiting for clarity on his injury. Sounds like he's suffered a setback. Um, no return date. Obviously got a knee injury. But as I say, it's really concerning that there is no return date for, for Sven Botman. He was asked if Sven Botman would go on to the list of uh, longer term absentees. And Eddie Howe couldn't give an answer. Says they're waiting for clarity. Waiting to discuss options on how to progress with Sven Botman's injury. It's been out since that Sheffield United game. The game he scored in, his, his first Newcastle goal as well. Uh, that was last month now. And unfortunately, he hasn't been able to play since. So, a really concerning update on, on, on Sven Botman. Uh, they really miss him in, in that centre of defence. We talk about injuries being uh, positions across the pitch, being a little depleted, especially in those attacking areas. But without Sven Botman, Newcastle are obviously one centre back away from, uh, from another injury and being put in some real danger so we'll have to wait and see on, on, on Sven Botman let's hope it's positive news and we, they can get him back quicker uh, than what it sounds like but for now yeah no return date for Sven Botman Alexandra Izak uh, I asked Eddie how after the Wolves game if there was an update on Izak he said that it, uh, it's high chance that he'll be missing for uh, the next four games now until that international break uh, and he confirmed this morning that that is the case. So we won't see Alexandra Izak until potentially, I think it is Chelsea after the international break. So again, another blow leaves Callum Wilson by himself. But will Callum Wilson start tomorrow against Manchester United? We'll come on to that later. Um, another sort of fresh injury, if you like, a player that probably would have been involved against Manchester United is Javi Manquillo. He's picked up a groin injury, so he won't be in, involved tomorrow night. And other injuries trying to go from your head. Harvey Barnes obviously uh, out until uh, late December at the earliest. Um, Lewis Miley, no update on him yet. I think he's been suffering from uh, from glandular fever, so I think he's still probably a, a week away. And I think that's it. Jacob Murphy, sorry, Jacob Murphy. So you know, there's Newcastle have been tying with uh, Jacob Murphy going under surgery for his dislocated shoulder the delaying the decision uh, con continuing conversation with Newcastle medics so there still hasn't been a decision whether or not Jacob Murphy's shoulder will can't well can be strapped up and you can play uh, for the rest of the season etc or if he does indeed need to go uh, undergo shoulder surgery so I think that's your injury list I may have missed some on there but a lot of injuries to, to, to get your head round at the moment but that, that's that's the that's the main injuries there so yeah going on to the Manchester United game I've seen Newcastle at the weekend only made one change from that Dortmund game because they don't have options in, a, in attack Callum Wilson led the line scored twice but as it is with Callum Wilson's fitness, can Callum Wilson play three games in a week? Can he start three games in a week? And I think because of his sort of injury record, past injury record, you don't want to risk him. So it was Eddie Howe was asked about rotating the strikers. Obviously didn't want to give away his team selection, but did admit that uh, he had to be very careful with his team selection. So I suspect could be wrong here but I, I can't see how Callum Wilson starts tomorrow look it, it Manchester night away it's always a big game a cup game as well Newcastle will only have an opportunity to go in the quarterfinals of the uh, of the Carabao Cup but because of injuries it, this game just feels a little a step it does feel like a, a step too far and you almost have to look at it the Newcastle put everything in t tomorrow and then 
the Arsenal game gives away and then you know they've got Dortmund after that it almost feels like you've got to pick a game between this period for Newcastle to go all out and when you've got Arsenal at home in the Premier League obviously Newcastle trying to chase down the top four you then got Dortmund needing a result to ultimately keep your Champions League progression hopes or qualification hopes alive from, from the group it does feel like out of them three games this Manchester United game does possibly takes the least priority and I know that sounds ridiculous some fans won't agree with that because it's a, it's an opportunity to get a quarter final and look myself included we're all desperate to see Newcastle win a trophy but in terms of the wider picture the opportunity to uh, to you know keep on progressing in the Premier League and get close to that top four and the opportunity to potentially put yourself in a position of getting into the last 16 of the of the Champions League the Manchester United game it's it, it's a game that they, they, they didn't need, but as I say, Eddie Howe refused to uh, brush it off as that said it's a great opportunity for them to progress into the quarterfinals. So they want to do that, but it just comes down to to team selection. It, it's say yeah, there's going to be uh, there's potential for the, for there to be a few square pegs and round holes uh, on Wednesday night, even if Eddie Howe does. Uh, you know, constantly reiterate that the Newcastle do have versatility in the squad, which they do. To be fair, they do have versatility in the squad, but it's just about playing best the players in their best positions. And it doesn't feel like uh, they can do that tomorrow night. But yes, striker situation. I don't think Callum Wilson will start. Who do you play then? Do you play an Anthony Gordon? Do you play a Joe Linton up front? See, only time will tell on that front. The big two that everyone has been speaking about particularly after uh, being left on the bench on Saturday is Tino Livramento and Lewis Hall. I asked uh, Eddie how about Tino Livramento and Lewis Hall and what they have to do to start games and he said it was simple. They said once once they get an opportunity to play on the team, they've got to take their opportunity, they've got to impress. Now Tino Livramento did that against Manchester City but obviously with Kieran Trippier in his position, it's understandable why Livermento hasn't been called upon as much as he probably should have. Lewis Hall, I think, is a, a, a bit of a different one now. I know Newcastle have committed a rumoured or reported £28 million to signing Lewis Hall next summer, uh, but he does look a little bit raw. He did look raw in that Manchester City game, whereas um, Team Livermento had done, done really, really well. Eddie Howe constantly sp has, has spoken about you know the two... The two positions out there, and two players are competing in right back and left back. So they've got two really uh, strong competitors. Obviously, Trippier I've mentioned Dan Byrne as well gets all the criticism from Newcastle fans. But look, uh, Dan Byrne consistently now has played left back for the last twelve months or so, and was up in a, in a team last season that finished. I uh, finished fourth in the Premier League and was it had the be joint best defence in the Premier League. So I can understand why Eddie Howe has, has, has kept faith with uh, Dan Byrne, but as I say. Uh, that them two need uh, game time because I know we we'll keep going back to the price, the cost. But Newcastle and me paid sixty million pound on two four backs, and we haven't seen much of them. So they need to play tomorrow night. Um, yeah, they, they need minutes tomorrow night. They've waited a long time for this for an opportunity, and I think if Adi Howe doesn't play them tomorrow night, then uh, perhaps there'll be a few questions asked as to well. Uh, as to how Eddie Howe views these players, um, look, they're both long-term investments. I get that, but when in in this current time, when Newcastle have got so many injuries, uh, there's no there's no excuse really to, to not play the players that need them, to sign them for the future. But okay, we're on about the present now, and uh, they need they need to be thrown into the deep end if that's what you can call it. So. Yeah, again, it's we talked about the, the Manchester United game and, and the priority between the, the next next three games. But Eddie Howe wants to wants to win. We all want to see Newcastle progress. They'll be backed by seven thousand Geordies tomorrow night. Incredible effort. Um, can't can't wait to see that. And let's hope. Look, Newcastle will be patched up, the battered, bruised, fatigued, tired, all that. But you know they've got an opportunity to get in the quarter final tomorrow night so fingers crossed we'll uh we'll we'll, we'll say that myself will uh will be at old trafford alongside liam as i mentioned dom dom is away this week so he won't be there uh, but me and liam will provide some post-match reaction to let us say what hopefully will be a newcastle united win so all i have to say is please like share 
subscribe, and we'll see you at Old Trafford.